What is up, y'all? I am back with another video, and I think I know why you clicked on the video. And I think it was the title. I know it was the title. So, as y'all can see, last month, not last month, as y'all can see, um, three months ago, I think it's three months ago exactly, I did this video three months ago, and y'all been in the comments on my neck. Right here. Right here. Um, about the way that I did the video. And I can honestly say that I agree with you guys. I agree with y'all because, you know, I didn't really show the process. So I kind of clickbaited y'all. And me, being a viewer, I will also be mad if that, that was the case. So I understand. So with that being said, today I am going to show y'all literally step by step of how to set up this printer. I'm going to show y'all step by step. So if you have this label printer, what I want you to do right now, I want you to get it out. Get this out, okay? This is the brand. Get it out, and I'm finna walk you through. Everything that I'm finna do, you need to be doing it. So you don't miss anything, okay? I'm gonna walk you out through. But first, we're gonna talk about what, what came in the box, okay? What came in the box. Mind you, this, this is specifically for a MacBook, okay? If you don't have a MacBook, click off. This ain't for you, okay? This is for if you have a MacBook. I have a MacBook, so that, that is, you know, what I'm using. This is this is what that video is about. So what came in there in the box? The printer. The labels right here. Um, I'll just take it out so you can see. I already used some. The labels. Um the smartphone guide, which you know, we don't really care about that. The user manual. I'm trying to, I'm showing y'all stuff and I ain't even making sure it's like what you call it. Alright. Also, it came with I'm trying to look in here so I can make sure I got the name correct. Alright. So this uh U disc. I don't know what this is for. I've never used this and I have used this um this printer so many times I have never used this thing. You 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 I guarantee you you probably won't need this. So don't even worry about that. Um come with that. And we have, hold on, y'all. Power cord. I think my lighting is, is overbearing, so let me just turn this down because it's y'all can't see nothing. But yeah, the, the power cord, you know, with this end right here, that's yeah, I'm gonna show y'all where it goes. <clears throat> and then we got this cord, which is gonna go into the MacBook. We got these two ends. This go in the printer, this go in the MacBook. I know y'all see this right here. This ain't gonna go in the MacBook, is it? No, 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 no. No, it's not. It's not. But if you got a regular computer, this actually work for you. But we talking about a MacBook. We ain't talking about that. So we got this USB-C. Um, what's it called port or whatever. And this is what you're gonna put on this part, so it go into your MacBook. So now let's set this thing up. So on the back we have this on button right here and we got these two holes right here now this part is gonna go in here okay y'all see that y'all see see boom now this part which is the other end is gonna go to the MacBook. it's gonna go right here hold on let me turn it turn it around <coughs> yep go in just like that so boom, we got these two pieces in there, okay? So now, like I said, this end right here is not gonna go in the MacBook, right? So, I take your little USB-C port thing out the package, and you're gonna add this on there, just like this. This, this right here, this how it should look, okay? Okay. So now this is gonna go into the MacBook. Now we finna we finna change course and go over to the MacBook. Okay, so we now is at the MacBook as y'all can see. And um my MacBook is currently kinda 
about to die. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to show y'all the website that y'all need to put in here, okay? And the name is, I'm going to put it across the screen as well as me typing it in, support.theprinternname.com. I don't know how to say the printer name, so I'm not even going to try it. But let's do that, right? Yeah. So that's the website <clears throat> right here. Website name right there. And once you get to this point right here, you need to go and you need to find MacBook setup, which is where? Let me see. Window, no, I'm not looking for Windows. I'm not looking for that. Let's view all of them. So we can find MacBook. There we go. MacBook setup right here. And it's supposed to be a thing where you can download. Where is it? Oh, yep. Right here. So I already did this, but y'all will click this right here. And um, download this one. This one right here. Click that. Once you do it, um, let me see. It just made me do it again. I'll just do it again for y'all. I'm going to drop down right there. And then go to it. And it will open this up right here. I don't know if y'all can see that good. Because my lighting is kind of weird right now. It's going to open this up right here. Then you just go through the whole thing. What it say? Install. Then, you know. Hold on. Let me turn this light down. Y'all can see better. So. Hold on. Boom, boom, boom. Go through that. Now it's installed, right? So now we're ready to go and um, we'll keep that. Keep that. Hold on. No matter of fact, you guys should go into settings. Let's go into settings. And we're going to find printers. You can type it in or whatever. Find printers. Mine is already, it's already literally sitting right here. But if y'all's is not sitting right there, which it probably won't be because mine wasn't at first, then... You just want to click add a new printer right there. Add a printer. I'm going to click that. And then you should be able to find it over here. I, ain't gonna, I can't find mine because it's already right there. So you should be able to find it right there. And then you can make it your default printer. And then at that point, we should be, once you click add, it should be on there. So, you know, it should be on there. And if you don't, like, if you don't rename it, if you don't rename it, this right here. That would be the name. That's the name of the printer right there. And yeah, so that's pretty much how you set it up. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna take y'all through a test run so y'all can see how it print. I only have four by six labels, so that's what y'all finna see. Also, at this point, this is you need to plug this in. I gotta unplug this. So hopefully my stuff don't die. Hold on. There, we plugged in. So now we are not. We are on, yeah, so we in there. So it's gonna turn green like that. And now I'm gonna show y'all how to load this up right here. So right now it's red and you can open it uh, from right here and right here. I'm holding my camera, so it's kind of hard for me to show y'all. So let me stop, see if I can put it down. All right, so that's how y'all finna do this. So basically, you can open this by the sides and you open it like this, this way. All right, got that. And this actually, um, this is side that the paper is gonna come out right here, this side. And you can, um, you put it in this way, honestly, but you make sure it's lined up correctly when you do it like this. But you want the paper to be not this side up, but this side down. Because it's going to print on this side. So, this side down. Right here. Right. So, this side down. Put it in there. Wait, let me zoom out for y'all. Alright. So, this side down. Put the paper in. Then, you want to close it. And it's gonna like automatically take it itself. All right? So we don't wanna waste that piece of paper, right? So 
let's just bring it back in bring it back and then do like this we're green we're green now i don't know if y'all can tell that it's green but it's ready to go so i'm gonna do a test thing for y'all so when you go on your computer i think y'all know how to print on y'all macbook but uh if you don't just go to the document that you want to print or whatever i can't i can't really show y'all that much but um i can show y'all a little bit let's just make this bigger let's make this bigger y'all can't see it right now but let me show y'all so look 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 you guys it's a little glare but anyways what you're gonna do is on your map book go to file print and when we come over here come over here right oh, let me zoom in so y'all can see because the the light is like it's wildly crazy right now let me see let's turn it down let's do that that's much better i think anyways what you want to do is go right here and then this is four by six if you got that four by six boom so now let's turn this light back up so this side up, my bad. This side up, y'all. This side up. This side down. So this side up, like literally. Then this side down. They actually say it on the paper, though. It actually does, but mm, yeah. But anyway, this side down. No, this side up, and then this side down. My bad. <laughs> oh, so funny. Anyways. <coughs> All right, so y'all, here we go, here we go. Let me actually, I wanna print something else actually instead of that. So we about to print, a, a, what is it called? A shipping label, let's print this shipping label right quick. So y'all, again, if you got four by six, whatever inch paper you got, that's what you need to print, right? So I got four by six, cause this is um, for like UPS stuff. So we're gonna print. Boom, there y'all go. You take it off. You got your stuff. And that that's how you do it right there. Alright, so yeah, I hope now you guys that uh was in my comments or whatever, or other people that watched the video that didn't really have a good understanding of exactly what you need to do. I hope that helped y'all. Um if it didn't, just if it did or it didn't, just leave a comment down below and um tell me what else you are confused on but yeah that's the end of the video make sure you like comment subscribe and share the video share the video share the video i must always say it and like i always say do not sit here and watch my face the entire time you can put the video on a device like this and let the video play over through i'll see y'all in the next video bye